Hi, I'm Doug Patterson. I'm the Chief Financial Officer for TurboCam International. I, when I joined TurboCam about seven years ago, I was a Christian, but coming from a secular public company world where the values were very, very different. And I was introduced to Marion. Somebody said, this is a businessman unlike anybody you've ever met before. He desires to do something different. What I didn't know at the time was that FCCI was critical to supporting Marion as he laid out a path for what he wanted to do. The, the mission statement that honored God first and foremost was unlike anything I'd ever seen. And so I had to figure out how, how do I support him in this. He handed me a book uh, called Business by the Book, Larry Burkett's book. He said, you need to read this. This is important for you to understand the way I'm going to think about my business. And that was my first introduction to the tools that FCCI has provided to companies like TurboCam over the years. It's been critical to helping us understand how we're going to manage the growth period that we're in, stay true to the culture that we have, and that we want to continue to grow and support as we grow our employee base. We want to be able to provide them tools for uh, professional development, for training, for hiring, for character. Uh, all of these sorts of things have been absolutely critical to our ability to, to strengthen where we want to go and stay true to that, that culture. Um, it's also enabled us as we go into the third world markets to continue to focus on, on uh, God's principles that he's laid out for us. So our ability to stand true and say we're not going to pay bribes, we're not going to participate in a culture that requires that. But we can be a light in those cultures and support the right way to do business there. A critical tenet that, that uh, has been something I've had to learn to put into practice in, a, in, in TurboCam has been your yes is your yes and your no is your no. Uh, so often, much of the, the business world doesn't act that way. And so when we commit to pay a vendor in 30 days, we are going to follow through on that commitment. And that's been a, a founding tenet, I think, that, that Marion has taken from TurboCamp, uh, that applied at TurboCamp for us, um, that we're going to do what we say we're going to do. In fact, we try and do better than that every single time we can because we want, we want our vendors, who are often reliant upon us for their own survival, to know that TurboCam is a company that stands for uh, a, a biblical approach to doing business and that we're going to follow through and do what we say we're going to do. Not all transformation that we've seen come in the company as a result of uh, FCCI and as a result of kind of setting our sights on, on honoring God has been overnight. Some transformation takes longer. Some transformation has come as a result of multiple members of the company attending here and hearing different ideas uh, beginning to process them and putting them in place in their own ways. It's not all just Marion coming back and saying, okay, here's a, here's a new change. We're going to put this new practice out there and everybody be obedient to it. Some of it takes time for it to bubble up. We've had a culture that has desired to serve others. The Christian service to, to, to God and his people is important to us from the very beginning, but it's taken a while for us to figure out and work with our employee base to get that permeating out through the company. And it's been really neat to see the fruits of that begin to appear. And over the last 18 months, what we've begun to see is a core group of our employees have come together. And they have begun to take steps on their own, where they're putting themselves, their own time, to work in Christian service to others. But they're also putting their own treasure to work in Christian service to others. And recently, we've had a group of employees that have come together and donated 12.5% of their bonus for multiple quarters in a row to do two things, to, to help serve people in need in the third world, but also to help serve people in their community, in their backyard. These are real dollars out of their pockets that they're saying, no, this is more important. This is something bigger than us that we want to contribute to and participate in. And it's no doubt in my mind that it's a direct result of our engagement with FCCI and the teachings that we, we get here, and our willingness, most importantly, to follow God's call. Hello, I'm Ken Mazzocchi, and I'm the general manager uh, that oversees the automotive division at TurboCam. And uh, I've seen uh, over the years how FCCI has really impacted uh, Mary and our owner um, within our company, but it's also transformed actually outside of the company. In particular, our customer uh, is greatly impacted by the mission, by the culture that we have. It's not only just meeting the metrics for our customer. Every customer wants on-time delivery. They want good quality product, and everyone's very familiar with that. But it goes way beyond that in a sense where the, the customer looks at it as a very strong relationship. 
out of 100 plus suppliers, we're their number one supplier. And it's not because of the basic things that we do, but it's because of the relationship, it's because of the mission. It's based on who we are as a company and they respect it. And we're very, very open as a company uh, with our customer about our mission statement, about our culture and what we stand for and they absolutely respect it. One good example is uh, we do not work on Sundays and we put it down and say this is the Lord's day and this is something that Marion has learned from FCCI and his relationships and sometimes the customer gets in a crunch and I get a call and they say we need you to work on Sunday and we say nope, we're not, we're not going to do it, we are going to honor God and we'll get through this somehow. And that's hard to do with your customer, but we stand up for it and we hold to it. The customer will actually back down and say, okay, we respect you and we'll somehow work through this. And every single time we meet their needs. What's amazing is, is that God is uh, using our company to impact those around us. In our local community, there are several folks within our company right now that have been volunteering and helping, not only financially, but their own time to help these folks that are in need around the area. And that has been really inspired by the culture, by the leadership within TurboCam, which we've really learned through FCCI. What's great is, is that you know, Ma Marion has the heart to really help those around the world. And uh, many folks know about that. But that, that type of heart has, in, has really engrossed within the whole company where others have ventured out to do exactly what Marion has done. It's been infectious. And so TurboCam is having an incredible impact with folks in India and in Nepal and different in, in really low-income areas of, of the world. And uh, again, it's not just the leader that's doing it, but it's the people within TurboCam, and they are having an impact on uh, people around the world. It's, uh, it's not only, many folks have heard about the work in Nepal. There's other areas that that TurboCam has really been affecting, places such as Romania, India, and also in London. And what happens is, is these particular plants, over the, uh, the plants that are in these different countries, will have their own initiatives to be able to branch out and help their local communities and be able to really meet the needs of the folks around them. So some of, some of the employees actually have, have taken this mission and this culture and have left the company to start their own business that support TurboCam. And so, again, the, the infection and the transformation goes, to, goes outside the company by those, when they leave, they develop their own business and they develop that same culture. There is not a lot of Christian-run businesses within New Hampshire, and so, therefore, we tend to be a beacon of light to other companies within the state. I think what's encouraging there is that there's an employee that recently left the company to start his own business to support TurboCam, and he had the heart. It was himself and one other employee, and he started very, very small. But the whole thing was he does not have the resources that TurboCam has. He cannot do the same things that we're doing. But what's incredible about this individual is his heart. He has the heart, and he's running the company in the same way on a heart level and doing with what makes sense with the number of employees that he has. So in summary, with all of these incredible things that go on, it takes, it takes time and it takes effort. And it's really important to, to realize that this is not something that just happens overnight. It's a process. And sometimes that process can be extremely difficult. And a lot of times you have obstacles and you have resistance at different levels. But you've got to really stay prayerful. You've got to really focus on God. You've got to really stay in tune with what you're trying to accomplish. And then over time, you will see great transformation.